Hi! Today we have uh, Peugeot 308 with a uh, 1.4 uh, VTE petrol engine. I'm going to show you how to reseal the valve cover because uh, it started to leak oil. As you can see it's uh, all uh, with oil. Also on this side it has been leaking. So that's why I'm going to remove the valve cover and install new uh, valve uh, gasket. Uh, I'm going to open these uh, two bolts with uh, Torx authority to remove the plastic cover. I'm going to open the oil cap and I'm going to remove the plastic cover. So now we can see the ignition coils. Next I'm going to remove them and also disconnect uh, the uh, grounding point. Uh, there is a one nut with 8 mm wrench. I have removed the ignition coils, disconnected the wiring. Uh, next I'm going to disconnect the camshaft uh, position sensors. They are both of them. And uh, also I'm going to remove the uh, I'm going to remove this part of the air filter. Uh, I'm going to open this bolt with the 10 mm wrench and uh, open the bolts with uh, Torx 20. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them to remove the plastic cover of the air filter. Next, I'm going to remove uh, this wiring here have to pull it up and also I have to uh, pull up uh, this uh, plastic uh, holder that is uh, holding the cables and on this side I'm going to disconnect the oil evaporator hose I have to press it on both sides so I can I'm gonna need both hands and also I have to uh, remove uh, this uh, plastic uh, bracket or open it uh, from here with a screwdriver to remove these uh, hoses and uh, after that I'm going to open the bolts that uh, hold the valve cover. There are 13 of them and they can be opened with a 10 mm wrench. Two we have here one we have uh, here uh, so the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen i have removed the valve cover now i'm going to clean it also i'm going to clean the cylinder head and I'm going to install the new valve uh, cover gasket. I have cleaned the valve cover, removed uh, all the uh, parts of the gaskets. So now I have a new, uh, new gasket that I'm going to install. You can see inside we have also for the ignition coils, here at the bolts. I have installed the valve uh, gasket, so now I can uh, install the valve cover. I have installed the valve cover, tightened all 13 bolts with a 10 mm wrench. So now I'm going to reconnect uh, the uh, VTA actuator. I'm going to connect the cable here also this one connect the camshaft sensors on this side i'm going to mount the holder for uh, hoses connect the oil evaporator now i'm going to install the uh, air filter top cover 
We have installed the air filter uh, top uh, part. There are seven bolts uh, with uh, Torx uh, 20 and one bolt with 10 millimeter wrench. Now I'm going to install the ignition coils, connect them and also connect the grounding point. Now I can install the plastic cover and tighten it with two bolts with uh, Torx 30. Just to install the plastic cap for the oil and now I can uh, start the engine. The engine is working fine. The check lamp was uh, illuminated before because the lambda sensor is uh, damaged. It's not working like it should. But that will be another video when I replace it. This means that I am finished. If you like to see more videos, please subscribe to my channel, like my videos and thank you for watching.